Huh? It's me. Tate. Tundra Swan. How do you know birds? My mom, my mom liked birds. I can't read your note. Oh, all I said was I, I had seen you a couple times when I was out fishing, and it got me thinking that maybe you could use some seeds and spark plug. You know, I had extra. Thought it might save you a trip to town. I don't know, I figured you'd like the feathers. All right, then. All right, then. Well, I better be going, so. I could teach you to read. I thought you may as well learn to write at the same time. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay, so we start with A. Let's go ahead and draw that shape right there. Don't tell me. I'm getting there. Don't help me. Sure. I got all day. There are some who can live without wild things, comma, and some who cannot. Oh. That's what I'm talking about, Kaya. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> there will never be a time again where you can't read, ever. I didn't know words could hold so much. Not all words hold that much. <laughs> We could read at my house sometime. We went through the whole library three times a week, summer into fall. Read how plants and animals change over time to adjust to the ever-shifting earth. How birds sing mostly at dawn because the cool, moist air of morning carries their songs and their meanings much farther. How some cells divide and specialize into lungs or hearts while others remain uncommitted as stem cells in case they're needed later. Within all the worlds of biology, I searched for an explanation of why a mother would leave her offspring. Uh, Mr. Jackson Henry Clark married Miss Julianne Maria Jax, June 12, 1933. <laughs> that means He's on my parents. <laughs> Master Jeremy Andrew Clark, January 2. <laughs> That's Jody. Master Napier Murphy Clark, Miss Mary Helen Clark, Miss Catherine Danielle Clark. I miss them. <laughs> I had, um, I forgot how much I feel not here. But I feel I'm not here right now. I mean, sometimes I feel so invisible. I, I wonder if I'm here at all. You are. 